Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 33 Well as you know um, We just killed castle that we ended up uh, The last bit of wrap up that was necessary to finish uh, a Starion storyline Was pretty good, we still have a few things to, to see throughout the city, especially throughout the city Remember that Astarion is uh, from Baldur's Gate originally, so um, there is that going. There is a lot of things in the city uh, that we need to do that are not regarding what it is the storylines and the lore on Raveling. Um, as you already know, after a, an episode full of lore and, and a story on Raveling, there is always a fill up episode, and I will do my best to not make it too much of a fill up episode remember that now i put timestamps on the video so feel free to use them remember that even in a fill up video there is always something um there's always a couple of things that are important it's the firecracker cliff gate I forgot it's, that. If you want a sight for sore eyes. Where the hell did you been, girl? Last I heard you'd run off to Neverwinter and that was what? Ten years ago. <laughs> Neverwinter. Neverwinter. <laughs> told you that. Gortash. Said you didn't even give notice. Ha! <laughs> that prick, but... <sighs> Never mind that. Look at you. The years have been good to you. I won't lie. They have. Yeah, don't interrupt them. Well, go on, girl. Tell me everything. First thing first, you saw the news, didn't you? About Archduke Gortash. Right? Oh, I'm sure the fox will make a great duke of the hen house. I think you were the only thing that kept him a little honest. After you left, things got dark, fast. I got out while my soul was still intact. Started working for an arms merchant. Still in the trade, as you can see. Met my fellow Gregor that way. Been together eight years now. And Karlach. We have a little one on the way. Fitz! That's incredible! Congratulations! Mum life, huh? You're going to be incredible. Gods, I hope so. Even after all these years, it seemed to happen so fast. But now that you're back in town, you must come to ours. All of you. We'll have a good supper, catch up. You can meet Gregor. And the little one, in a few months. Are the two of you together? Ew, no. Just mates. <laughs> Very good mates. Oh, that's lovely. It's a pleasure to meet you. With that face, man. I can't man. tell you how good it is to see you, Fitz. I'd love to come have dinner with you and Gregor. We're in the city on some urgent business, but can I come find you when it's all settled? I'd love that. Meanwhile, if you're still in the business of intimidation, you should take a look at my stock. Very well. So that's the reason, one of the reasons that I am heavily encumbered right now. Just brought a few wares to be sold. And I was actually thinking... Um, look at all those things I got around. I was actually thinking... Um, that this trader specifically has this bow. No, it's not that bow. It's that bow. Which is pretty good, but in any case, it's not like the... Because I was thinking for a Starion. But it's not as good as any uh, the, the crossbows. These arrows are always useful, I'd say. In any case, today we have a lot of things to do. And as I said, it's not going to be um, all too much of the lore talking and unraveling stuff. Although, still, a few important things. We met Damon last episode, we saw him in the city. I'll see if there's something to do with Infernal Iron and or, or the masks because I remember lots I had Great to have you back, those Carla. um Dark Justicia's mask 
and they were interactable or something. I didn't even realize at the time, I only realized when I was editing the video. But yeah, we'll see what, what what's going on with that. Hope that wasn't a lie. I hope we do get to meet up with Fitz when this is all over. First step, save the city. Then, save myself. And last but not least, dinner with an old friend. What more could you ask for? Oh, very well then. So, a few things now. As you can... Well, as I've been reminding you all the time. We've done what the storylines those guys allowed. Yet, remember there is lots of things here that we've been... We've been uh, bringing with us from all the other encounters and... And all the missions from previous acts. And that fellow gear... Fellow Gears, whatever his name is. Uh, if you guys don't remember, if you didn't watch the video, he's the one that put the um, the bombs, the explosives in the children's uh, toys that were for uh, donations. That's one of the first things we did once we came to Baldur's Gate. So, oh, what is that? Holy shit! What's going on here? Floric, former advisor to Duke Ravenguard, has been found guilty of treacherous and seditious activity against the people of Baldur's Gate. Oh, well, that is she not be executed good. Five days hence. Right, so we gotta we gotta bring Will for that. If you do, if you guys don't remember Floric, it's the one that was in the Burning City back in Act One, that new Will, uh, and it was with the Flaming Fist. We had to do that as well. As well. For what happened here, this is weird. I, I got lost. And then when I found mommy and daddy again, they wouldn't get up. I shouldn't have run away. I'm just sorry. And what's with this two? found his folks gutted. Didn't see it happen though, thank the gods. City's home to some proper sick bastards. Oh, okay, so this guy said... Oh, poor kid found his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. Oh, well. Why not though? Is that it? Shouldn't have run away. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Well, how bleak. I don't know. Can I do something? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I get it. So that's uh, Orin. That's Orin on, on a rampage now in the city. Right. So as I, as I explained to you before, an earthquake. Keep calm, Karnak. One bad flare and you could blow this whole place. That's not very nice. Better for low gears fireworks. Once it's lit, you commit. Very well. So this is the guy I was talking to you about. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And a light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent. Now remember, Philogear's fireworks is a song show. Nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown off heads. <laughs> what? Now, you there. What can I do for you? you feel Very well. Oh, he's got a tadpole. He has a tadpole. Aha. A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the absolute. What's going on with his clothes? I have a special sample available just for you, if you wish. Uh... Okay, let's see. This one 
will be very useful he thinks we're friends with Gortash. Gortash. Be sure to be clear of his explosion area. Please enjoy responsibly. And nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else I can do for you? So, okay. Uh, there is this thing. Recall the password. Uncle Felugir sent me. So that's what the, the rich guy uh, told us to say. You must be Arthur's friend. Let's see the suspicious Keep toys. There it down. is. Yes, yes. He's just upstairs. But only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. Right. So we got these explosive arrows. It's actually uh, pretty good, I'd say. I think it's with us starting we got all those many arrows but at this point it's not even necessary to to use them so we can now go up however it is very interesting what he's got here so i'll try to to show you everything in the best way i can first of all i gotta talk to this girl oh, let's save because it's pretty tricky to get through here but I want to show you, show it to you anyway. Any torches, matches, wizards, or other sources of open I think flame. she doesn't have a dialogue, a actually. Lens, please. Yeah, no, she doesn't have a dialogue. No so what I gotta do with a starion, it's hide. Dedicated to one lord right. metal toys. Gordash has got to be paying the mouth sink fees. You've been spotted fiddling with that lock. Right. Let's move. I think it's a matter of change it, so it's it can be tricky. Have you tried the Lantanese candles? He's still looking at me, I think. Eager for battle. Okay, let's don't worry, we can do this. Any talk Keep a blade close. If the if the midget I mean the halfling goes away. Right. Very well, here we are. Squid jeans. These are um, fireworks, explosives. Uh, they're pretty good. They are not necessary at all, but they cost 25 each. So might as well. It's really odd when you got no music. Now. Oh dear. Someone's left to That's the reason why I'm going hiding. This seems to be... No. Nothing here. Alchemist fire. A lever. Now. There's a few interesting things in here. And you'll see. Besides the fact that we get to steal everything, remember that we are running low on gold. So everything, everything is uh, worth something. But it doesn't seem to be anything else really. Now, uh, the liver. Right, there it is. That's the door. Traps. Yep. Now, this is the thing, let's... You know... Uh, I think I explained this, like, in the first episode or something. We get all these smoke powder barrels, the explosive barrels. And to have them can make fights pretty easy, especially difficult fights. Um... 
it's a uh, it's a little bit silly to to get them now because the way we fight and the way we got uh, our bills and everything we don't really need anything else but just for the sake of having them you know in case why not but the thing is you guys didn't even pay attention I've been testing you all along Yes, we got barrels and explosives and that's nice But you guys didn't even realize what this Box of firework Let's have a look I always get lost here 848 so it's uh, it's riskier to use the, the barrel because the barrel's minimum is 22 i think and max 36 i believe but nonetheless imagine 48 you get it right and it unleashes the fire of course so it's pretty good yeah it would seem that's it uh and if you didn't see it because i was picking up everything i might have done a cut I picked up one thing here and the trap was set right beside, that's why I'm lacking HP. Funny nonetheless. But yeah, it seems like we don't get any information from here. On the... when it comes to the... To the toys. To investigating the toys. I believe, guys that uh, to get through this uh, quest <clears throat> you, you mentioned Gortos when we first met do you work with him? Mm. oh heavens no not with him I work for him as I do for all of my most uh, loyal customers fabulously charismatic man though tips well what are you really asking friend of Gortash Hmm. Oh, well, see for yourself. Let's see. Well, he doesn't have anything. Only fireworks and D Y E, whatever you pronounce that. And heart light bomb. Remember, and if it's not a firework, do whatever you like. Very well. So there is a few things, um, a few ways, uh, more like, more likely, to get through this quest and i've been looking at it before the uh, recording the episode because it's, it was quite weird quite frankly i don't know if i can close the door for example that would be a lot better because it's very tricky the thing is we need to get through the upper floor as we've been ex uh, explained to we should not let me see if the door gets open again it does Ah, but they close them. They close it. Right. Why? Why? Because there is the guard, uh, the steel watch, uh, always patrolling around here. And oh boy, fighting them, it's a thing. Now, if we try to get up, we're we still gonna get Another stopped. Friend of All right. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. Looking to buy a little something extra then. Uh, what's upstairs? That could not be less of your business. Well, very well. What have you got? Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. Well, they only sell that sort of thing. Mm. Right. Don't jostle any of the merchandise on your way out. Right, so, here's the thing. We try and get past, although there's a uh, every storage key, and doesn't doesn't mark as uh, stealing. This is a book on fireworks, right? So we're gonna try to pick this up. Employees only, pass dear. If you're expecting any packages, they'll bring them down to you. Right. But I can still pick this up, right? At the ready. Yeah. So that's the thing, as I tell you. 
we need to get up here. And we can't. So there's a few scenarios that I thought about. Uh, so let's see let's see what we can come up with. I thought let's bring a Starion. Um let's give him this for example. And let's see if it works, first of all, because it's uh, I don't really know how you do this. Or if there is any other way other than just fighting our way through it. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get out of sight. Um, we're gonna drink one of the potion of invisibilities. We're gonna walk th right through them. As you can see, investigate suspicious toys. Right. Smoke powder barrel that is full of barrels, and these guys are fists, but obviously they're traitors. And the deal here is to steal from this guy. This uh, black gauntlet, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty Steady. tough. Steady. Let's see what we got here. Production explosive, that's not interesting. Motivators, that's nothing too interesting. Now, the deal here is to steal from this guy. Once we steal, invisibility potion runs uh, runs out. But we can still get out of here. If if it doesn't work, we're just gonna oh the the potion wore off somehow. I don't know how much it lasts. Then turns. Right. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Oh, you really failed that? Now your life is on the line. You really failed that? Hey, well. Um, I could reload, or I could give it a go. What? She didn't do anything. Set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit, maybe. Fifteen thousand. You are uh, joking, right? So we're fighting now. That's how it is. Right. I'm not gonna use the potion. Let my name be known. This is one hell of a fight, lads, because it's uh, it's just a lot of people. Uh, so something's off. With this, it seems. Right, that's a little better. Right. I miss this. Now this one is pretty tough. Just still uh Go for this guy first. But nothing, lads. We are gonna have the fight, it seems. Wasn't really what I wanted. But all all's well that ends well, you know what I mean? I think I'm gonna go up to help him and Karlak's gonna stay here. This'll help. Oh, what are you doing? No, 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 don't do that. Yeah, we take damage, but it, it doesn't matter. It's it's uh, it's too good damage to... So, the guys down below are fighting as well? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Oh. Wait These guys are not you. bad. Are not bad, really. Right, something I could do, it's I could throw an alchemist fire here. And just blow at everything to kingdom come. I don't know if I not if I don't see steel watch and people. No, I see I do see people. Why are those two fighting? 
Oh, everyone knows. Okay, so that's odd. I'm not entirely sure. Why? Never mind. Let's get it going. As we as we usually do. Hmm. I'm in. Yeah, the thing is, we come here with absolute nothing. You know what I mean? We don't have any spell or anything because we have. Uh, we just came from Casador's fight. That's the thing. I got this too. Right. Let's see what they got. The stadium is pretty soft. Hopefully, um, he's surrounded by... I should probably get there. Although, the other guy is pretty low on HP. So, wait. No, he isn't. He healed. Oh, no. Yes, he is. So, I can definitely get invisible and carry on with that. This guy is uh, taking his time. Okay, don't kill Starion, please. Never mind. It's three against one. I mean, three against um, one bunch of. Uh... <laughs> okay, these guys are coming. I think I can I can deal with a lot of them upstairs. Uh, they don't make they don't do any damage to me with the armor I got. Right, so she's dead. This guy's dead. Uh, he isn't. Right. She's gonna be tanking a little bit. Hmm. I will ascend. These guys are coming up. If you don't like the fights, um. I advise to check the timestamps. At the end of the fight, if you don't like the fights, you you just like the, the, the plot and things like that. That is at the end of the fight. I feel like I have to say these things now. Right. I got the black hole. Okay. Come here. Come here, you motherfucker. Probably shouldn't have done that. On my fiends and undead. Well, that's only for undead. I could. 
I could start playing the loot and make them really fucking sad. That's what you get for attacking me, dude. Uh, yeah, he's very indecisive, isn't he? Holy shit. There may be a few backfires. Holy shit. Hmm, that is not good because Lady Cell. It's right there and it's gonna get the damage. I think I'm gonna go for this guy. That's it. Hmm. I'm trying to get as close as I can, so see if I can at least pull the aggro. Time to strike. I find it funny, quite frankly, because I came here with the idea of <clears throat> sneaking in to get every everything done pretty smoothly. <laughs> I ended up fighting everyone. Disadvantage. Damn it. I I am dead. Okay, never mind. Uh, it seems like this is the last one. And we level it up. Soldier. Yeah. I started, at least they didn't die, die. You know what I mean? Now, as for what's going to happen uh, down there... I'm coming the foggiest. Now, one thing could happen now. And that we're very bad. No one back home and that is that this. the Steel Watch. No, no. Oh, that kid. Oof. Very well, we want to stay around here. If they come around. Installation of self-destruction element in the Iron Throne was successfully used. Majority of explosive order. No questions asked. None answered. Gortash will be pleased. Okay, they didn't enter. So if they if they decide to enter the the place, uh, just throw a a teleport. Just TP out of the city. Done, that's it. Fire Ember. That, that, that's actually good money, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's for the... For the... Um, alchemy. But the thing, lads, it's that I don't really know how it's the... The... Um, the mission supposed to to go completed completed
Mm. This all the adamanti adamantine forge, celonite, everything we've done. Mm. I don't know. It seems like it's over though. Yeah. That wasn't very... Uh, what would you call it? That wasn't very... Oh. Hide lots. What's going on? Well, so now the thing is to find in, uh, information about Well, we're not going to find anything here, it seems Anything that is in about um, Well, there's still guys down there to to loot So let's see Making a save in case we get in trouble. Fireworks workshop key. More junk to sell when you know we need it. Scribble note. Tamara. I know our toy maker friend is, uh, is part of the cause, but what I have seen is worryingly um, subtle. The last thing we want is to be held accountable for his activities. If he comes in looking for more stock, tell him we're under supply. Uh, I'd rather not have the shop's uh, good name ruined. Very well, so it would seem uh, that's how this quest end. We kill everyone here. I guess that's how we stop the, the, the these deals. Trying to hurt the the kids. Basically, the the the, the toys were meant to be. A... I'm gonna close this door. Hold on. It's got a tadpole. Okay, so that's the key. That, that's the kit. Oh, okay. Nothing's happened. Let's see this one. My dear fellow Avery, you have done well so far, but do allow the production of smoke powder to flag. No one will question a fireworks shortage in case of a crisis. Never fear, my friend. I'll take personal interest. Okay, this is not very interesting. Counting house vault number five. Oh, look at that. This is our third uh, bank key. And a mind flayer plus 800 gold. So, we can probably go to the bank and make a withdrawal, right? So, very well. We are going to TP out. I don't want to get out through, uh, through the door. It's about time we, we take a rest. It's about time we rest, quite frankly. We are in deep shit. We don't have anything. Any spell, any short rest. And, let's, we just leveled up. Level 12, the the top level basically. No time to rest. Um, we wanna go quick through this because uh, car like lay cell, things like that. We're gonna we're gonna do massive changes. And since you know this is a little bit of a, a fill up episode, so I'm gonna give you a spoiler in case you stayed to watch this video. But next episode, um, we're gonna have a different companion because we meet a new companion in the next episode and if you are a fan of the older polo skate games you are gonna love it okay so as i said we're not gonna do much here because we're gonna uh, if anything we're gonna be changing in the last in the last 10 episodes or so we're gonna be doing every every character will have different builds every episode in the last 10 or so just to make it 
just to make it fun. So I was thinking I could do uh, Charisma, Charisma 20. It says here I have 18 strength, but obviously with all the... Um, we have 23 strength. And the Paladin or this class uh, get the damage and the proficiency with the Charisma. Right? So we're going to have 23, 20. 23 uh, strength and 20 Charisma because remember we have on the Ethel's hair uh, the clothes that gives a plus 2 as well. And so on. We've come a long way. I kind of miss my old uh, default little paladin outfit. Quite frankly, I, I've grown very fond of my character. Uh, so for Karlak, we could do Constitution, I guess. In 16 it escalates, but it's 1. You know, it's like it's a bit. It would be a bit silly, especially for for a barbarian, and especially with the build we got with her so far. Um, probably, may, maybe we can do alert because nothing else is suitable, quite frankly, for the build we got. So we wanna do that. Lovely lay cell. Um, what do I do? I get a feed with this one, right? In level 9. Gods. I don't know. Gods. Hold on. I'm gonna save. Uh, I'm gonna save because I don't remember where do I get the, pro uh, the feed. With the level 4 or the level 9. I did get it with the with the other one. Right. A stallion will not um, be the, uh, the killing machine I thought it would be when I started the series. Obviously, things change when um, when you're a good guy. If you are the bad guy, oh, a stallion gets uh, so much, so many things. So, with Lacell, I could do Wisdom. Because it's what, I, what we're really lacking right now. And Dexterity. Uh, but I think there's one beat. I think it's Resilient. Or something like that was the name. That actually gives you a one point on Wisdom. Resilient. Uh, in case you, uh, an ability by 1 to a maximum of 20 and gain proficiency in that ability saving throws. Right, and you and you choose to hear wisdom. As for a stallion, uh, well I think the builds are pretty alright. Remember that we... Um... The bills are not finished. Um, that is two points, right? Yeah, so 20 decks. And off we go. Off we go, lads. Also, I watched last episode, obviously, because I, I, I edit the videos. Ah, oh, Will still wants to talk. Let's go and see. Oh, and before resting, we have to talk to the alien because remember we saw that guy uh, from the grove who wants to capture her. Let's see what Will has to say. Your mind tingles as it opens to Will. He learns of Mazora's meddling and Floric's tale of the dragon on Right. Curse that rotten devil and her forked tongue trying to set Eltan against me. She's a damnable inferno of chaos. <sighs> What matters now is that Eltan saw sense, and we know our path forward. Right. We'll finish what my father couldn't. But he knows we'll about it. We can answer the as heart as, of the gate. As soon as we speak 
to the, to that lady in the last episode. Yeah, we're gonna have to take wheel at some point. Um, but um, yeah, everything's it's mingling together. I have to figure out stuff like that. But annihilate course of cultists. We need Ansel's help. Do you really think a dragon being living under the Baldur's Gate? I do, and so did my father. Go on, read the legend of Ansur. Then we can plan our next steps. Uh... Duke Stalemate ally with the Emperor? Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a Mind Flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. Hmm. Right. Ah, uh, interesting nonetheless. What are you doing here? Um, right. So, Aileen. Aileen now. I love her, dude. Like, look, it's the paladin armor, dude. Divine power Mother's and all that. Milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? A wizard called Loroca is looking for you. Yeah, and she, someone else is looking for you as well. I forgot his name. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Uh, let's see. All I know is that he's put out contract for your capture. Put a bounty out for your capture and now there is a violent mercenary looking for you. Right. He became a violent mercenary. He was living at the Grove. Yeah, something else I was, I, I was saying before I started talking with Will. I realized in the last episode that I speak too fast, maybe. And sometimes I... I, I convert a whole sentence in pure noise. So I am going to uh, try to acknowledge that and speak slowly and try to pronounce correctly every time from now on. It's been 43 episodes. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Let them come and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yeah, I know. Yet... They, they don't have a chance. It is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. Hell yeah. His end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hi, we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Wait, she's leaving? How do you get out? Ah, she disappears. Very well. Interesting nonetheless. Pretty sure we can manage to um, to work our way around another mission or something of the sort. Just checking around. Very well, let's end the day. Oh, what's going on now? No. Queen Vlakis. You are a shark, and still you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. 
spoken to Shestil Kithrak Voss. You lied to us, enslaved us. The betrayer Voss lies! Damn. I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this we do not be believe true? this. Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? The, br the proofs are too great. Prison. Slay Orpheus the Pretender! Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Bart of Lakith, commander of dragons. Whoa. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazel's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacketh. That's... that's my girl. Right. I gave you my faith. And you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. No. You are nothing. The Kithraki will win you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. Wow. Uh, she got angry, didn't she? Oh, I did not expect that. Astario wants to talk. I think this is the moment. To make some joke, Astarion. What is uh, Shadowheart wearing, by the way? Not the point at all. What's going on? That's strange. Knowing all. Oh. Never hear Cazador's voice again. Knowing it'll never command me to bow against my will. And free from him. Forever. Nah, this is not right. Uh... It's not like that, right? Everyone would have reacted like that. Ah, well, it's too late to question this as well. Fuck that. Invigorating. Terrifying. All of the above. <laughs> I'm still trying to understand it, really. I came so close to losing everything back there. To losing myself. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it. <laughs> Just as Cazador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started 
<laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but I do now. Thank you. Deep down is a good guy. In the end, it wasn't his fault, all of that. <laughs> you did more than that. You... believed in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> when I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. You saved me from myself. And let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's very well. Oh my god, the art, everything. Ah, oh, they sell. Need to put some clothes on these guys as well, these two. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Ah, well, I wouldn't say any of this is really necessary. Yes. From doubt rises certainty. Orpheus, the prince of the comet. He is living truth. Undeniable. I will have a home in Tunarath yet. And Orpheus will be the light that guides me there. I have been born anew in Gith's son, my savior. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Salar Orpheus. Must still now forge an in Yeri. Orpheus' will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. That is very Paladin like. Now, uh, questioning this would be questioning the, 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 the Paladin style. What's next? Hammer Orpheus free from his chains at our first chance. Orpheus tough Kinazin. Right. Right. That's it. Oh, well, I didn't expect an episode like today's to be uh, to end up so sentimentally with the, uh, acknowledging the changes and all, you know, we started just killing some terrorists. Now we're here and Jenna's still here. I wonder what I got to do with Jenna, like, I haven't seen any missions related to her yet. Rest is as ever overwhelmed by your killing fate. Oh, what, what now? You dangle above a dark precipice, one move away from falling. Another watches your body while it is possessed by the night. You do not dream alone. What? Dark dreams? Oh, I think I can guess. You hear her? Visions of blood on your hands. The blood in your veins, perhaps. For all the gift spouse children inherit. A peaceful night's sleep is not among them. 
So she knows. The dreams alone do not concern me. It is what waking deeds they might inspire. Are you truly your own master? What is it you feel when father's dreams come calling? You know, it's fine, glory, helpless. I can't, I can deny, like I can deny him nothing. Oof, I did not expect this. There is one certain way. I hold it in my hand. Ah, well. This is your father's true legacy. Not his children, but the fear they plant in us. The savagery it blossoms into. In another time, with another of your kind, we found a better way. Yeah. I would dearly like to find it again. You would not be the first to turn the taint in your blood to your advantage. But there are barriers a bow spawn must overcome first. Those of your kind. Orin. I am sure you already know that so long as she lives, she will never stop hunting you. It might right. be that you have to turn and face her. You cannot change that. All you can choose is how you meet her. As another bloodied child of Baal? Or as yourself. All I can offer is the promise that... Should you choose to do so, you will not meet her alone. For now, take what rest you can. I will watch over you this night. Mm. I suppose you do not. Sleep well. No more dreams await you Very well. sleep this night. Only the warm knowledge that indeed you are not alone. Very well. We'll all rest. The hero is right here. Uh, Aileen is not here anymore. Oh no. What do you want? Well, you know what? We're going to leave that for next episode. Well, okay, no. Something on your mind? Well, you know exactly what's on my mind. For a fill up episode, <laughs> it's, it's full of stuff. Costed us in the lower city. What in the hell did you tell her? Why only the truth that you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise? I really Such hope I can kill her. Servant of the city, so eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling, how is she? Entertainment? I'd be a cheeky devil indeed to make such diabolical merry. Glower all you want. I was merely laying the path to Will's success. With the Duke gone, someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son, perhaps. Well, very well. We're doing this my way now. Be gone. Let's get our lads. Mm -hmm. 
so in the city before we co uh, we continue with the stories and whatnot obviously here we got Loro Khan. as you can see Roland is long, no no longer here this is Loro Khan's projection this uh, that is the guy we're going to ambush well not ambush but we're going to pay him a visit with Aileen nonetheless uh there is a lot of things in the city. <laughs> that, that, that is, that's just the thing. We still have lots lots of things. But one thing I want to check before... Um, before ending today. That is pretty far away. Let's go here. Just remember that we still need to investigate over the... Well, it's not that we need to investigate because we already know that the murders... It's Odin. Odin is behind all the murders in the city. But just to show you as well this, for example. This place here. Let's read it. So this place has to do with Mistra. As you know, this whole series uh, does not have um, Gale, sadly. And but I'm pretty sure I can I can manage to get some lore of that from the weave, and I'm not entirely sure if we can get to meet Elminster. We'll see. We'll see. And yeah, the, just full of places that we will want to see. This is where we came. For, uh, for the um, for one of the victims, one of the possible possible victims. There is the old emperor's hideout as well. But here, I believe, uh, yes, now here, there's another house of one of the possible targets. This one precisely. It doesn't, it doesn't mark it on the map or anything, but this is one of the fists, I think. The humble home of Frank Pear Tree. Right. That might be worth a look. And we are late. Your scrap of bloody paper is uh, scrolling an erratic excitable hand you've been picking where you shouldn't bear tree placing the lordlings fire speeders throughout my city disgusting they leave no blood there is no art to it at all oh, so this was a killer and corpse in there i walked uh, through your basement here as i pen this it's rather large roomy they never find all the bits of you if if i spread them out here properly Mm, well, that is interesting. Let's close this door. Uh, so yeah, there's the hatch here. Hold on. Just a bow. Stalin. I bind. Should be easy. So. Uh, he was one of the killers then. I thought otherwise. Very well, let's see what we got here. There's a door over there. God. What a mess. Gorgeous little Kimabeth. Clown's severe arm. Look at that. A clown's arm. Stained with grease paint and blood. So... So far we got the torso, the hand, and the arm. Goodness me, I forgot about that mission actually. I hope you guys been paying attention. The effigy of ja uh, Jagashura who burned his mortality. What use uh, his heart? He thought himself a titan but died whispering for his mother. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood or in the red. As it couldn't be otherwise. Taking that. 
another. Um, it's a pay beer tree. Uh, you can highly recommend by a select few, uh, not merely for your business acumen, but also for your ambition. That is why I'm writing to you a question of ambition. I have in my possession tremendous quantity of infernal iron. Its acquisition is immaterial. What matters is this. I shall need assistance distributing the weapons forged from this exquisite iron. I shall need some ambitious someone with less than scrupulous connections. Someone, um, Mr. Peartree, like yourself. That Mr. Peartree uh, was the carol. I often find it makes an excellent bedfellow to the stick. Consider your position. A less than scrupulous set of connections doesn't just make you valuable to me. It will also make you invaluable to any number of upstart city. Watchmen of Flaming Fist ready to make a rank. It would really be a terrible tragedy for such bright potential to be extinguished in this way. I eagerly await your correspondence. Gortash. Well, if that ain't something. I don't need a reflection to know this looks fabulous. Devil bargains. Archduke leadership, guide to Avernus, that would have been useful before. Another dead person. Why do I know her? Humanoid. Looks like the girls. The leader of the girls. Absolutely nothing around here. What about this door? Oh, it is it's pretty big indeed. Nice. This is always useful. All the animals speak, by the way. All the animals have voice actor. It's probably something you know already. We should make a run in which we speak to all of the animals. Oh, look at that. And the soul coins, we haven't used them. We have a around 10 or something. But the truth, truth be told, with the bill we got and everything, I have such a headache. It's, it's a little bit silly, it's not even necessary. Very well. As for many things, uh, many of the other things in the city that are to be completed. Oh, I am going to work out a way to complete as many of them. Um. While we are doing the unraveling lore and storytelling for the next uh, for upcoming episodes, of course. And today we're probably gonna end for now. First of all, let's go to the to the uh, to the bay. It's because I want to uh, start discovering more map. You know, we got that waypoint over there. Guys, we have not seen much of the city. Just think about that, it's massive. The map keeps expanding. Something over there. Hmm. What's that? Not everyone subscribe. Okay, never mind then. That's stealing. Yes, yes. All right, lad. Yo, let's get out of Rivia. Oh, what the fuck? What? Oh, well, very well, then. <laughs> Did not expect that at all. One, two... <laughs> Mm, 
I'm hitting the little guys. Oh, casualties of the world, lads. Not my fault. I don't have a save, otherwise I would try and save them. Alright, let's get rid of these idiots. Oh, there's another one over there. As, <clears throat> As for these two guys... Oof, I don't know. Sorry about that. That's really inconvenient. Just walking down the beach and we get <laughs> to fight some fishmen. My little trick. Right, so I should have just thrown a different a different uh spear. Uh I feel bad now. <laughs> Sorry about Thank you for cutting those creatures down truly. Gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. Ah, uh, well. More or less people would have died. Oh, I get a reward. So, but why are they so close to the city? Oh, well, they give us barrels. Oh, God. This guts all over Look. My boat. Look at all the Look at all the trash we got. I mean, I got all the books and, and stuff as well. As well as... Um, as... Um, the clown's torso. The clown's... Where is the other things? Well, I got the, cl the clown's arm, and I got... A stallion has the clown's hand. No. Yeah. Something like that. I cannot loot these guys, of course. Fish head. Ah. Why do I have this? Yeah, all right. Right. So, we're gonna leave it here, lads. Thanks again for dealing with those so wagon. You saved more than just my livelihood. Yeah, but your friend died. Oh, you're a traitor. Fresh mainly. Ah, but he sells. Doesn't have Watch anything. Yourself, eh? God's willing, there won't be any more of those things. Good luck, Geralt. Anyway, lads, as I was saying, we're gonna leave here. We are going to go directly to a very important place that I'm gonna leave for next episode, and we're gonna meet someone very, very important. So I hope you enjoyed. 
I'll see you in the next one. My name is Fabian. Be good.